What do you get out of playing that game every day? Okay, I'll turn it off. No, 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 no. I didn't tell you to turn it off. I just want to know. What do you get out of it? It's fun. But what's the point? It's a game. That's the point. So I bet I'm having a lot more fun than you. Did we ever eat at a place called Polynesia House? Uh, yeah. Remember that waiter with the really bad cough? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Did we have fun? It was okay. You know, I don't remember half the things that are on this credit card bill. Sometimes I think there's another Max Bickford running around having a hell of a time, and I'm just stuck paying for the whole thing. When do you have fun, Dad? All the time. Like, when? Well, I do have a job, which requires a lot of my time if I'm going to do it right. And you kids, and social obligations, and... It takes a lot to keep this ship afloat. So when you say all the time, you really mean never. Fun is overrated. Oh, I'm late. You want, want to go out to dinner tonight? Sure, where? Polynesia House. Well? Well, what? What did you think of my journal article? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have a chance to finish it. So you started it? Well, I, I, I was just about to start it. Oh. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. No, no, it's not fine. I'm just, I'm just very, very busy. Oh, that must be really rough for you, Max, because the, the rest of us are just sitting around every day drinking Mai Tais and going bowling. I'll read it today, I promise. It really would have meant a lot if you'd read it right away. I, I did dedicate it to you. A journal article? You dedicated it to me? <laughs> oh, that's unusual. Well, maybe not officially. Maybe not in print, but, um, mentally. Uh-huh. Well, I'm very touched. Mentally. And I would have read it yesterday, but I just didn't have the time. People always have time for what's important to them. Lorraine, can you get me my... Oh, 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 before you start reading your mail and getting all comfy in here, Dean Waterman is putting together a blue ribbon study committee to evaluate our grading system. Uh-huh. So we're going to evaluate how we evaluate our students. Then we're going to evaluate our evaluation. He's inviting you to be on the committee. He wants an answer ASAP. Everyone wants everything ASAP. But we don't have time to do anything ASAP, as witnessed by the fact that we always say ASAP, because it takes less time than as soon as possible. Secondly... Excuse me. I'm sorry, Lorraine. I was under the impression I had the time to take off my coat. Secondly, Melanie Hampton wants to drop your class on American demagogues. What? I love that class. Apparently she doesn't share your affection for it. Why? She missed a bunch of classes with an ear infection, and you said her paper stunk. That's what I wrote on it? This paper stinks? That was a sense of it, yes. Anyway, she's willing to talk about it, but your office hours conflict with her biology lab, so you need to find another time. Uh, Lorraine! Do you know the only people who have ever bellowed at me like that needed CPR? I don't find time for Melanie. You find time for Melanie. I can't. You're going to have to figure this out yourself. It's your life. Which you are supposed to be assisting me with. Come on, make a suggestion. Don't tempt me. What does this say? I'm working on a new syllabus. I got scraps of paper all over the place. I'm writing on my hand. I have no idea what this says. Fiderpfe. What does it mean? What the hell was I thinking? I think you need to relax. What? I relax. When do you have fun? Have you been talking to Lester? Max, when is the last time you did something just for yourself? Well, gee, I like to think I'm as selfish as the next guy. You need a hobby. I hate that word. That's like a big neon sign blinking on and off. Mediocrity, mediocrity, mediocrity. <laughs> I write bad poetry because I have a hobby. I, I, I paint bad landscapes because I have a hobby. Max, does everything have to be about achievement? What about just kicking back and having fun? And what do you do to have fun, Miss Perfectly Balanced Life of Mental Health? Lately, I play golf. Golf? 
<laughs> oh, well, that does raise the bar on meaningless activities. Hour after hour, chasing after some poor defenseless ball, whacking it with clubs. <laughs> I thought that you played tennis. I used to. But in tennis, you have to beat someone else. In golf, only person you have to beat is yourself. I see. So it's tennis if you're homicidal and golf if you're suicidal. I'd say you're an excellent candidate for both. Why don't you play with me? <laughs> no, I don't have time. That's why you should play. Sorry. Max, I tell you what. If you can play golf with me, I'll tell you what it says on your hand. Agreed. Go for it. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Pearl Harbor. FDR, PH. <laughs> Do you see that outfit? Red pants on a grown man? Okay, Mr. Blackwell. Now, before you hit the ball, let's cover it. I start. don't think you have to teach me. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay. You might want to start with a smaller club, save the driver for later. Do they not call it a driving range? <sighs> it's gonna be a snap. A snap? Golf is probably the most complex. Pizza cake. Your turn. This is easy. I don't know what all the fuss is about. No, 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 no. Hit another ball. <laughs> fluke. The first one was a fluke. That was reality. Watch this. Uh, it's not as easy as you thought, is it? All right, I just need a little time to figure this out. Ah, oh, people spend a lifetime trying to figure this game out. be a trick to this. Yeah, it's called let Ah! Ah! Ah, it's called... <laughs> Oops. Lessons, Max! I don't have time for lessons. Make time. Give your life some balance. That's the whole point to a fun activity. Who's having fun? You were a minute ago when you whacked the ball out there. Ah, well, I'm not whacking it now! I'm not having fun anymore. See? No, it's not the game, Max. It's you. Well, how could you blame this on me? It's easy. You transform a perfectly enjoyable pastime into an argumentative... Wait a second. I did no such but thing. You should oh, sitting no, here like this, griping. I was standing here like yours. Well, finally, where have you been? The phone has been ringing off the... What happened to you? Uh, golf. You got hit by a ball? If you want to sue, my cousin's a lawyer. No, no, no. I was the one doing the hitting. Went to a driving range. I just didn't stretch before I started. I got a little glitch in my back. I'll be okay. You golf? Since when? Uh, about 2 o'clock this afternoon. So don't you want a more rewarding hobby? This is not my hobby. Oh, it will be. Golf is addictive. You make it sound like a controlled substance. It's worse. Now, have you ever thought about collecting? Collecting? You mean like collecting baseball cards and Pez dispensers? Anything. You are looking at Western Massachusetts numero uno collector of barbed wire. <laughs> Forgive my naivete, but how does one start collecting barbed wire? I grew up on a dairy farm and I have family who worked as prison guards. It was a natural combination of interests. Luckily, my family's been blessed with unnaturally thick skin. Luckily. And I'm helping to preserve history. The West would not have been won without barbed wire. It was invented in the late 19th century. I know, I know. And there are over 2,000 known manufactured varieties. Yes, yes. And I have cataloged 324. But this summer, I am taking my wire cutters to Texas. And it I'm sounds going to utterly fill in fascinating, gap. Lorraine. But it also sounds like a lot of work. And that's what I've got plenty of. Which is why you need a hobby. <laughs>